Hi ladies, um, I've got to try and do this in a one because I've not got many arts to do. Uh, I thought we'd try today, I've been messing about with um, polystyrene hearts and balls and all sorts of things. I have even done a, a boot, polystyrene boot. That's something what I did. <laughs> A bit of what I did last year, but I think I've upgraded from, from that. But um, I need to get some more boots. So that's that's one of my little Christmas things I've done. And um, a nice chenille at the bottom there. But today I'm going to be doing this heart with you. Um, I've already started, as you can see, because... Um, if it being polystyrene, I can't really use the heat gun to dry the paint, etc. So the paint I've used is a metallic one on this, a green one. A pastive green, oh that's appropriate, isn't it? Pastive green metallic paint by Dazzling Metallics oh, Pintura, I think it is. Okay, that's what I've used on that, a couple of coatings. I've then covered it. I didn't have enough green um, netting, but I've had this nice brown, so I've just covered it in that, and it just gives it a, an added texture, okay? Next thing I did, I wanted some velvet ribbon, so I found some velvet ribbon, dark green, and uh, a little clip, you can uh, abuse that, or... Sometimes I've used like a heart shaped one. That looks nice as well, except that's lost its middle bit. <laughs> but you get the idea. So that, oh, but the, before I did that, I made the hanging thing with just a little bit of satin ribbon because um, I have to dig deep in there and then put the glue in and then just knotted it and put it in. All right? So that's how you need to do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is put this on because the back I'm going to do different on some of them I've put um, the buckle on both sides but oh, I'm fraying away here I wonder if I should just give it a little bit of, except I can't find it is that it? no uh, I was going to just put the burner on it but I can't find the burner at the moment never mind so I'm just going to find the middle there it's about, I've put that in the middle, and there's a glue stick, and I'm hoping we can see, I've put, put the light right over it, it's gone quite dull today outside. So, before we do anything, I'll just put a little bit of glue there, oh, there we are, I knew it would go flying again, could you have got a bit glue next to me, and put the middle of that there, okay. It'll come right in the end, believe me ladies, it will. And then I'm just going to put a little couple of dabs around there and meet that round, hopefully pretty straight. My pretty straight's not very straight as you know. Okay. Oop, see, it's not very straight. And um, we've got glue bits everywhere. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, let's get that straighter. So it looks like it's going across the middle at least. These other bits we're going to hide anyway, so, you know, I wouldn't worry too much. So, put a long bit of glue there. Okay, I'll cut that bit off in the middle. So not too bulky. And nip that one off about there because that's going to have something over it actually so a bit of paper right and we'll put that one over there so now we've got that okay so that's what I'm going to do on that side for the moment and then yeah, I'll do it at the bottom there um, for the back of this one I'm putting a flower. Now, this is just from a strip like this. Okay, and I've just 
carefully cut one out and because it takes me quite a while to dry because I use glossy accents and little sequin things, these okay just around the petals I've done that earlier as well so that though is going hopefully on here like that now I'm not sure if I want it this way up there's a you know three there and three at the bottom what I'm going to put in the middle ladies I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way I'm going to have to try and get a system that comes over my head like professional people onto my I'm going to put this cameo, alright, in the middle. So I think it looks nicer that way. But let's just try it the other way. Why not? Uh, it doesn't matter, does it? looks nice both ways, but I think we're going that way. So, as I said, I've, I've, I've used just some glossy accent to make sure this, this stick. And they take a little while to dry. So you can try it with glue, but... I'd get glue everywhere like I normally do. So I'm going to stick this now and this is another one I'd most probably if I was off camera I'd do it um with I have done it in the past with fabric like glue and that. Just to try and make less mess. Okay, I think we're about in the middle there. Glue. Glue. I've got my darling uh, grandson coming tonight. He's got something on in Manchester somewhere with his air cadets. So he wants to be he wants to be up at half five in the morning. So I said, yes, I'll get you up. And uh, I don't know, his corporal, whoever he is, uh, commander is lives near us. So um, he's taking giving Adam a lift in the morning so that's good so I will stick that one down are you still with me? okay throw that away throw that away I fell did you see me bruises ladies look look at me arm I tripped myself up I don't know so there's um, my little flower on it and then we're going to stick that one on as well. And what I've done with this one is I've had some um, diamantes and I put them round the outside and then of course you could see a bit of glue, you know, where you've stuck it. You know, where you've stuck it round there. So all I've done with that is I use some um, glitter glue and just just finished it off around just to take that gluey the you know the uh, glue away from it so that's that you can put anything in the middle I have I did have some nice Christmassy ones as well not quite the right colour and plus they're a little bit big but it's up to you what else did I think of putting on um, one of these you could put something like that on it's got love. Um, and then that was another cameo I was going to use because it's green, but it, I just thought it was a bit big for that one. Uh, you put anything, anything you like, you know what I mean, in, in your centre bit there. You could just put a nice big flashy, um, I think I had one, diamante or anyway, look, something like this would look even look nice. There. See, even that would look pretty, wouldn't it? But for this one, I'm doing a cameo. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, put my glue stick in. There we go. And... I don't know where I've got this from, this cameo. It's one of them things you hoard, isn't it, cameos? Because you don't see them all the time. And... Uh, I tend to hold them, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to get tweezers out after, ladies, and pick away and take away my glue strings and that. But it's shabby chic, so it doesn't matter too much. Just make sure that's straight. 
how's that? It's coming on. Now because I've done that at the back and I, <laughs> excuse me, I've just done it. <laughs> glue strings, glue strings everywhere. Um, I'm not happy with that there. We looked around the other one because I've done the flower. Because it was silly, because I have done a flower on that side as well. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering whether to cut one of these flowers in half. Are you with me? Let's try that. Let's just try and cut it in half first. I don't know which way I'm going with this now, ladies. Yeah, this could do it, this could do it. Right, we'll take that bit off, and we'll take that bit off, you see, because on some of the others, because I'd put a flower underneath, haven't I? Now that looks much better, doesn't it? Eh? Not much better. It will. Uh, left, right, I think that's it, that's it, so put the glue that side. Right, a tiny bit of glue. If you can, without burning yourself, uh, beneath that pen. There we go. And once it's on, you can always lift it up again a little bit just to. So I'm just putting that. I'm just putting that. I am. Let me see if I had tweezers on my pokey tool. Just to put that underneath there like that. It's not quite stuck. I'm apparently using too much glue and then I don't use enough. Okay. You don't worry about the edges because I'm going to be covering them up as well. Okay. So. So that's the bottom part and the top part more or less the same if you can work out which is top and back and front of these things. Right. Whoops. I think my fingers must be getting a bit harder because they don't seem to burn quite as much as as they did <laughs> when you first start crafting. So I'm just using my pokey tool just to put it under there a little bit and we're still not glued down that one's split apart so I've got to put a bit of glue on that one on its petal just to bring it uh, bring it to like so now come here come back okay Okay, okay, so, oh, it's annoying me that little bit of glue or whatever it is. Uh, so that's that. Now I know I've got to put diamantes on the flower things to finish that off. The next thing we do, let me see if I can do it with. These are meant to be stick on, so we'll stick them on and then if they fall off, I'll um, remedy it off camera after. But just so you can see the effect, I'll uh, I'll use the glue that's on the, the back of them and see if they stick a little bit. I think these were from the actual craft shop, Hobby Craft. Uh, I don't go there very often because it's uh, not cheap, is it? Eight. That's three. Not exactly perfect, but as I say, I'll uh, I'll mess about with it when it's. Um, I'm just trying to show you how uh, about altering them and. They make nice little gifts, and if you don't make them too Christmassy, they're, they're nice for in a bedroom or somewhere nice like that. Um, during the rest of the year, you don't have to, I don't, 
keep them just for Christmas. Um, I have a couple in my bedroom hanging around. Some other people have made me as well. Uh, Betsy Doodle made me a lovely heart. And I think it was Katrina. She made me a lovely heart. So that's how that's coming on. It's not coming on bad now. So what I'm going to do down the sides is put some more of this nice felt ribbon I've got. And that would just go on the shoulder, put it the right way around, and down. So about that much. And you want two of them for each side. Okay. That goes over there. So we'll stick that down. You don't have to use Bella Ribbon. You could just... Um, I haven't got much of this or anything, but you could just put like diamantes around, right? Like so, yeah, you could put. Um, oh, I just forget. You know, like something like I've done around there. You could put a ribbon and then that type of thing around bit of lace if you've got any nice green lace I don't I don't have a lot of green I mean that, that's my green bag as you can see I, I don't use a lot of green and if I do I tend to use the dark green you know mix it with pink or brown or something so we're going to use this this green hope that stays in oh poke it in and we'll just put a little bit of glue, put the stick back down, right, uh, so we're, we're going to some shops tomorrow morning, we're looking at a new standard lamp actually from the front room, but um, while we're out I'll try and look for some more polystyrene uh, Balls, hearts, etc. Uh, oh, come on, come on. So we're just we're just going to the end of that, aren't we? I've left a bit. Okay, so that we don't need that bit at the bottom. We don't need that. So that's going to be all hidden. And we'll do the other side. Let me just see what time we've got, ladies. Oh, I'm going to have to come back, ladies. Um, it's going to clonk off in a minute. And I'll come back and we'll finish it off together. Okay. So let's see if I can just put this on. Let's just try and see. If I've gone, I will be back, I promise. <laughs> You won't know I've gone if I've said that, though, will you? Eh? Right. Hey. Okay. I must snip that bit off. Be good if you had sharp scissors as well, wouldn't it? Okay. So we'll just snip that for now, because that's going to be hidden as well. So I'm going now, ladies, and I'll be back. Bye for now. <laughs> 